we're wanting to look at vector geometry now and notice the shape it's a triangle and we're dealing with triangle mat and it says express the following vectors in terms of a and b and see a here and b here so the first vector they're asking us to figure out is m to a so we're starting at m right here and we're going to a right here so when we're traveling from m to a notice that we're moving with the vector see the arrow is pointing the direction in the direction this vector is going so it's moving this way so if we're moving along the vector with the vector it's going to be the positive a right here so m to a is simply just a zooming let's look at the next one i want you to think about direction every time we're talking about vectors now i want you to think about direction so look at this one it says a to m so we're starting at a and we're going to travel to m so i'm starting at a and i'm coming this way to find m see am i traveling with the vector or am i traveling against the vector the fact that I'm going in the opposite direction means I'm traveling against the vector. And remember, opposite vectors are equal, but they go in the different directions. So, if A to M moves along M to A, then A to M is the opposite. See where that negative comes from? It is the opposite of M to A. And we knew that M to A was A, that common A. So I need the opposite of that A. So from A to M, the vector is just negative common A. All right, let's look at this one now, M to T. So I'm starting at M and I'm traveling to T. Am I going with the vector or am I going against the vector? I am going with the vector. This is the arrow and it's pointing in this direction. So I'm going with it. So M to T is going to be just B. Let's look at T to M. So I'm starting at T and I'm ending at M. So I'm starting at T and I'm going to M. Am I moving with the vector or am I going against the vector? I'm going against the vector. So if I'm going to go against the vector, it's going to be the opposite of that vector. And that original vector was M to T. So to find T to M, I need the opposite. That's why we have this negative. The opposite of the vector M to T. We know that the vector m to t was b. Good. So I'm replacing m to t with b. And notice I need the opposite of it. So I'm going to put in that minus. So the vector t to m is going to be the opposite of m to t, which is negative b. Stay with me. When you talk about vectors, we want to think about direction. So now it is that we need to find the vector A to T. So we're starting at A and we're traveling to T. So see A here and we're going to T. Notice that there is no little A and a little B here. So, so how else can we get to A to T from A? I can start at A and travel down to M. And then from M, I make a turn and I travel towards T. So I'm going to write down that map. I'm going to use a vector map. All right. So I'm going to start at A. So I need A to M. See, A to M. 
So A to help M is me moving from here so to here so. And then I'm gonna reach T yet. So I need to move now from M to T. So I have A to M and I'm going to add M to T. Notice where I start, see it here, is where I start. Where I end is where I end. Notice they have something common in the middle. That is a common point that they share. That is very important. So come now, let us see if we have A to M. If you look from the answers that we had before, A to M was a negative A. Because it was opposite to M to A. So I can replace A to M with negative M A. And that worked out to be a negative A. If you look back at the diagram, A to M is traveling against M to A. After that, we need to add M to T. Looking at my answers, I see M to T is already B. So I can just put M to T and I know that this is going to be B. Let's look at the diagram. When you go to the diagram, M to T was B. So I can simply say, clean this up and say A to T is going to be equal to B minus A. Or you could say A minus A plus B. But this look a little nicer, <laughs> keeping the positive in front. See how easy it was? So when we're talking about vectors, in vector geometry. Keep in mind direction. Bet some mega catch you with that one, you know. Come on, know you now look good. All right, so it says, express the following vectors in terms of X and Y. There. So now notice we have this quadrilateral looking thing, and it has C-A-R-E, that's care, and you know from C to A is X and from A to R is Y and from R to E is 3X. That's the first thing I would do if I'm given a diagram to look at. So I want to express the vector R to C in terms of X and Y. Now remember I tell you, always come up with a vector map. So if I'm going to look for R to C, it means I need to come so. So R to A first and then A to C. Good. So my vector R to C would be R, which I'm starting from, to A. And I'm going to add to that A to C. Notice I start at R, so I start at R. I end at C, so I'm ending at C. And there's a common point, that turning point. See here? A, A. So we started at R, we come to A, we make the turn at A to go towards C. So this is my vector map, and I'm going to use it. So let's see now. If we're moving from R to A, are we moving with the vector or against the vector? We're moving in its opposite direction so we're going against the vector so we're going against the vector a to r so i'm going to go against the vector a to r and a to r was the vector y so going against the vector a to r would be negative a r which is negative y that's just the first part. Now we need to look for AC. Look at AC. From A to C, are we going with the vector or are we going against the vector? We are going against the vector. So it's going to be the negative of the vector CA. And C to A was X. So we're going to go to the 
negative or the opposite of x. So the whole vector r to c would be negative y, negative x. And if I should use my ruler to draw that in on the diagram, it would look like this. We're going to go from r to c. Whoops. R to c. And if we're going R to C, the R would come this way. See that? So that would be the vector minus Y minus X. Good. So that's the first one. All right, now. We need to find the vector A to E. That means we're starting at A. And we're ending at E. I'm starting at A right here and E is all the way down here. So. so my vector map would be from A to R and then from R to E. So to get to A to E, I'd have to go A to R first. And then I have to add to that R to E. No, A to R. Let's figure that out. Am I going with the vector or against the vector? I'm going with the vector. So that's just a positive AR. Let's look at R to E. R to E. Am I going with the vector or against the vector? I'm going with the vector. So AR was Y. So I'm going to put the Y here. Plus RE, R to E was 3X. So I'm going to put 3X here. No, there are many other ways to get to E from A. But I'm just picking the one that I see. You could also use A to C. And then C to R and then R to E. But that's a whole power because you see that's a one, two, three vector. Right? So I took the quickest route that is open and available. Alright. But anyway, you take it, as long as you're updating them the right way, you must get the same answer. So let's look at C to E now. C to E. So C to E, if I'm going to do a road map, it means I'm starting at C here. And I could travel A. I could go C to A. And then I could go A to R. And then I could go to R to E. That could be the route. You could also travel C to R and then R to E. And remember to, you know, so you just find A to E. You just find A to E, which would have been this guy. And it was Y plus 3X. Y plus 3X. So you could have gone C to A and then A to E. Right? So I'm going to pick the one that I can work with and I'm going to work with this one the yellow one but guess what anywhere you t any map you use make sure that it correct and you get you can get to the same answer so I'm going to go C to A and then I'm going to add A to R then I'm going to go R to E great C to A here was just X. So I'm going to put X here. A to R. A to R was just Y. So I'm going to put Y under A to R. And then R to E now. R to E was 3X. So I'm going to put plus 3X. 
And all of those, I was going along the vector. I was going with them. Good. So when I'm at this stage now, I can group the like terms. X plus 3X plus Y. 1X plus 3X going to give us 4Xs. I will have this y. So the vector c to e is simplified as 4x plus y. Easy not true. And I like the different journeys. It's not one way to reach to half a tree or one way to go downtown or one way to go to Mandible. You can either take the highway or you can take a shortcut as long as you end up at the same place.